Now, with the thing with the electric furnace is that, well, sorry, the, okay, let me start that again. The thing with the advanced furnace is that it can take fuel and you can adjust the input volume and you can adjust the output volume. Now, I've seen lots of really useful, really brilliant looking and useful looking, um, no, that's iron. Uh, did we not make any more steel? E Filter low. Right. No, it's not. Filter's got loads to go. You liar. Okay, right. Um, stop getting distracted. I thought I'd made more steel than that. Is it in there? Yeah, 150 grams of steel in there. Um, not going for that. It's buried in amongst a ton of other stuff, so... We will grab this steel instead. What else is in there? Come on. There. Bit of iron. Right. Okay, we'll throw this steel in here instead, then. And what I could do, in theory, is use a stacker to split that again, but I'm not bothering right now. So we want pipes. If I can spell pipe. Yeah. We want pipes. Insulated pipes. Quite a few of them. What? Oh. Um, one second. We didn't get round to labelling this, did we? So yeah, I've seen a lot of useful and really cool looking designs for advanced furnace setups that are automated. I have tried to make them work on a creative world and try as I might, I, I I can't get them to work even though they are they look so simple. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, so I might have another go in the future, but to begin with, I'm going for the basics. This is something that anyone can do. You can do this yourself. It's not that difficult, even for a noob like me or for if you're a noob, you. We're probably still going to need more than this, but I'm going to stop it right there for now. Okay, uh, we're going to need probably some spray cans and mm, Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I've got a plan. Now, we're going to have to get a waste tank somewhere. We're going to have to get inputs. I could do them on this level, but, well... The waste tank is fairly large. That makes me... think of... We need some of these. Okay, more silicon and copper. Silicon, there we go. Now, I really need to sort this area out. Thank you. 
Let's see. More silicon. They take quite a while to actually print these, don't they? Still needs more. This is going to be the waste tank, you see. Well, that's my plan anyway. Um, although that down there is a bit too far away. If we're building up here, I'm going to have to build the ceiling higher. And I don't really want to get in the way of the solar panels. So, building downwards is a better option, but... Now what do we need? More silicon, All right, okay. Um... Right, well, that's gonna have to wait. Blimey, how many tanks does that actually want? Okay, right, um, let me think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely move these up one. At least. But before I can do that, I'm gonna need to use the wrench. No, you don't.
that looks better. Right, so we're gonna need a few things now. I think one of them things is spray cans. Volume pumps next. Come on. What are we doing? Iron. Nah, I just threw iron in the thing, didn't I? Oh well. We've got more. Gonna need several of these. more than we're gonna need for now we're gonna need probably analyzers uh, really we need electrum uh, are you kidding me might be faster to make some more <laughs> hydration critical um, right we'll come back to that This is going to be a very manual... You know what? To start with, I'm doing very simple. I'm not even going to try and doing mixes. I'm just going to do in, out, shake it all about. I think. noise. Can I turn the... Mm, we can't turn the sound down. Always very important to color code your pipes. That way you don't get confused in the future. Now, one trick.
the pipes is so whatever color you pick up is the color it will become so let's say i've got six if i pick up them now i have 20. just like that and the input one we're gonna do as well now eventually i am gonna want more than one input, so I should have left that on, really, but... Now, do I want to plug up up here with... tanks? No, I want them out of the way. It means more pipes, but... So be it. can use the last one, it doesn't really matter. They're, they're the same colour as the ones that come out the printer, so... Now, these ones on the other hand are not, so we don't want to use the last colour. And... Down we go. Really? You've, that's the second time you've told me that. Now that's one I do want to actually turn off. There's a reason I'm leaving the space. It does it mean it might seem a bit silly. Um and an extra waste of pipes, but there's 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 good reason I'm gonna be hopefully um expanding this area into my full on uh what do you call it? Wow. Um, and we need more silicon as well. Um, yeah, it's going to become my atmospherics area, so I need to go mining again. What do we need? Down this on, that's what we need. Silicon. Well, I want to leave one spray painted kind of pipe in there. 
because then we can change the colour of other pipes and the rest of you can come downstairs. Excuse me while I rework all of this a minute. I've overestimated my reach of resources. Well, I've still got the resources, I just don't want to go messing around with the, what you call them, the printers in order to get access to them. I'm just going to print more, mine more, sorry, mine more resources and In the meantime, it'll about waste time over here instead. Um, which one's wiser? I do not know. I do not know. Considering I'm thinking about maybe permanently moving this, maybe it's a wise idea. have to see about that. Anyway. Well, it is. I am. I am. So, maybe not all the way. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Now, um, we need to get the silicon going. So, we've got silicon. I could go mining. What time of day is it? How much light? Ah, someone put wolves there. Uh, it's midday. We've got plenty of time to go mining, so yeah, let's do that. You know what we've got to do first, though. But you know what'll happen if we don't. Right, let's do it. Seem to remember there being some over here. Just a wee bit. Gotta sort this room out. Right, silicon. That's not right.
Now the good thing about doing this is I'm actually degassing it for the next furnace anyway, so that's kind of useful. And while we've got it on and there's the temperatures there, we might as well just, just utilize that and get through as much of it as we can. side. I think I left the atmosphere analyzer turned on. And I still had gold to smell, oh well. Moments later. Okay, so the next 10 minutes were essentially printing loads of insulated pipes in the gas, uh, gas mixer and messing around with tank placements, the gas mixer placements, uh, cables, a little, a, a lot of umming and ahhing, um, not much talking. It, I, I, I didn't strike me as very compelling. So I condensed it into the fastest fast forward I've made yet. This is eight times the speed that it was. Um, it'll give you an idea of basically what happened without having to sit there and watch the whole thing. As I said, a fair bit of umming and ahhing and not much else. Well, this is a good place to start anyway. It's um, it's a start, is what it is. That's good timing.
Thing is, once I get this room, once I get this furnace up and running, it's going to make all the ores much easier to deal with, basically. So that's a good thing. Now I'm going to want a transformer. Right, okay. Um, yes, we do still have some. Ah, grab it. Oops. Right, you need to go. Well, you can go in there, actually. You need to go... Um, but now, I guess somewhere around here, we'll, we'll deal with, we'll figure you out later. It's a temporary measure. like most things in this base and most bases when they first start temporary measures until they're not uh, unless you've got someone who knows exactly what they want right from the off uh, which can happen you know what Probably going to need an airlock, so for now, I'm actually going to say... I want you there instead. Okay, so I'm going to add here that the Transformer is a, and this is for new players, a Transformer basically does two things. It separates, I touched on it earlier, it does allow you to separate power networks from high voltage to low voltage. It also separates grids from each other so you can turn off one part of the grid so I can turn off everything downstream with the Transformer. The other thing it does is separate logic networks so that you can have, I don't know, let's say volume pumps on one side and volume pumps on the other side. And if you had logic chips or IC chips, the housing, the chips wouldn't see the volume pump on the other side of the transformer or a area power control of the APC from where you are, either or either. Um, so I just thought I'd kind of elaborate a bit on why I'm using the transformer here um, just for new players if you didn't understand why I was using one um, it also fills a gap of non-speaking that I don't have to then fast forward and make this whole episode one big fast forward fest Okay, we've got input two and input one. Now, if you ever need to find the fuel mixture, if you can't remember for some reason, you can go into the canister of fuel and you'll see there it says 64, 66. Sorry, 64 liters, um, mixture of 66, 34, sorry, my bad. So 66 volatiles, 34 oxygen. So number two needs to be 34. There we go. Now I do know someone who's got a chip and 
on the station is um, Pedia, Station Pedia. Now I might actually go and have a quick look at that coach just to see if it's worth putting onto that for the fuel mixture. The other thing I want to do is figure out what the ices actually contain. So, where's my laptop? It is there. Okay, I'll take you. Might need another chip, so I'll take you. Oh, look, while we're here, we might as well do the... the deed. Whoops. Temperature critical. Oxygen. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, I do want to look at this. Your mixer by Omo. Temperature one, temperature two, temperature now output, mixer, target pressure, input minimum pressure. Now, I'm not even going to begin to say I understand how that works. Um, but I've heard it doesn't matter what the temperature of the stuff going in is, it'll get you the best output. So... I'm going to try it. Because, why not? And we'll throw you in there now. That does mean we're going to need another IC housing. Do we have IC housing in here? I think we might. Have, I don't think we did actually, but I'm going to double check anyway. Oh yeah, we did. We did. Happy days. for the fact we had ice crushers. Time.
Oops. But okay, at least it doesn't, doesn't disappear when it's in there. Be the wrong way. Damn it. It was the wrong way. That has no nitrogen. Where are you going? That does not have any contaminants. Right. Okay, good to know. Um... Hmm... Iron frames it might have to be... Um... Yes, I do have some sheets. Might be a temporary fix, it might not be, I don't know yet. Okay, so I've kind of noticed from watching this that the longer the gameplay goes on and the more repetitive the thing, strangely enough, the less I actually engage with talking, which is kind of strange because you expect the repetitive points to be the points where you, you have time to talk and think about talking. But for some reason, I just have found that this at this point I've slowed down. So I'm kind of doing this in post and talking over now. I enjoy the talking while playing 
it, it, I find it much more uh, entertaining. From uh, it's easier to edit, and I think it's more entertaining because you get to at least hear the thought process that's going on at the time. Mm, anyway, we'll um, we'll see how this progresses as time goes on, but I am gonna keep fast forwarding through things that I think are going to be really boring for everyone to watch things that I wouldn't really enjoy watching and and you know if I talk over it I talk over it and if I don't then I don't Finally, just it's settled on a on an orientation for this. Reason being because unfiltered is going to be the oxygen, and the filtered is going to be the nitrogen because there's less nitrogen in here, in every ice than there is oxygen. So uh, this is the way I've decided to do it. It's a bit backwards, but. Um, Literally, it's a bit backwards, but... Well, it was either that or having to run the pipes. Some other ask about tip where you're doing things which I didn't really want to do, so... Oh, uh, well. Now to just keep moving things around until they fit. Sometimes that's the station is way. And do you know what the best thing about all this moving around is, for this playthrough, in the end anyway, is it's all temporary. Now, some people build permanent and they build to last and they know exactly what they're building. Now, I, I kind of have an idea. This is, this is a hack. Like, this is temporary. I don't want to have to run too many different filters at the moment. Uh, I don't want to waste too much power. I can, yeah, I have the power, I have the, probably have the ingredients for the filters, but this is, I'm trying to get to the, the better mining equipment and better alloys and all the rest of it. So I'm kind of hacking and rushing to get to a better place. I'm going to have to redo all of this, which is the worst thing. Um, it's just, it, it, it's a choice. I've, I've, I've gone this way, I guess. So, yeah, look, it is what it is. Anyway, I keep moving these things around. I get there in the end. 
Um, when I do uh, the this one's the volatiles, which is basically hydrogen. This one's the nitrogen and oxygen one. Now I color coded it yellow for mixed gases and red for hydrogen. It doesn't matter what the color code is, as long as you know what the color code is, that's all that matters. And checking the pipes there, making sure everything's good. I've decided that that's just too much hassle to save that gas, so away it goes. Printing some canisters of nitrog nitrogen filters, making sure that works. Throwing volatiles into the volatile and realizing thankfully without losing any ice because it doesn't it doesn't seem to sublime when it's actually sitting in the machine when it's not on which is good to know uh, running around fixing cables so you know when I, maybe when I've built this is my I done one Mars base on easy one Europa's base on station is on hard. Sorry, normal on Mars. Hard on Europa. This is my first station is on Mars. So this is like my third playthrough. And I'm still noob. Like, as I do more runs, I'm sure I'll get more efficient. But my apologies, this episode has been mostly fast forwarded and we're nearly there with the setup for the fuel for the furnace so well we'll get there in the end anyway so until next time i'm gonna leave it there for this episode bye for now